Ha, hello there! This is Air Marshal Demon Driver here to teach you how to use this amazing wand, this amazing electric device called the soldering iron. I would wager that 50% of you do not know how to solder. Well, today we are going to learn firsthand by me, teach you how to use this amazing tool. Um, in American, basically, I'm going to teach you how to solder. Okay, come on, let's. Okay, so the Demon Driver here, we're going to solder up two things. Battery connector and electrical metal, um, little electrical connector, bullet connector. Because that's the majority of the things that you are going to be soldering. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, for this soldering video, we're going to do two different connections. We are going to re-solder the Dean's connector. We're going to take the Dean's connector off of this old battery, off this old LiPo. And we're going to put a gold connector on this piece of wire. Okay, now let's look at the tools that we need to use in order to solder. Soldering is basically all down to the equipment and tools that you use. It is very simple, it's very easy, but of course you can burn the crap out of yourself if you're not careful and really screw yourself up somewhat. Okay, first thing you need is a good set of wire cutters, all right? basic set of wire cutters, electrical tape, important flux, okay, resin soldering flux, I get this at Radio Shack, shrink, uh, shrink wrap, insulation, all right, of course the solder, this is burns matic electrical solder, and the more lead, the more bad stuff in it, the better it is and the better it works. And a uh, nice pair of scissors, a brush, I'll show you how to use that. Obviously your electrical connectors and something very important are called hands-free. This is called a hands-free. And basically it is what it says it is. These little clamps are what you can place the things that you want to solder into and thus you can free up your hands and use this what this whole thing is about, soldering, the soldering iron itself. And of course it is now plugged in. The hotter this thing is, the better. The hotter this, hotter this tool is, the easier this will work for you, okay? The two most important crucial things about soldering is you need a good soldering iron that's really, really hot, and the number two thing is a good high quality solder itself. If you don't have good electrical solder, and a good soldering iron, you're screwed right off the bat. Okay? All right, do you understand that? Very good. Okay, let's get down to business. Let's rock. No fooling around. Here we go. Let's attack the battery. Let's attack the battery. Okay, here is our battery. And of course, we want to remove this Dean's connector and put on a different connector. One of the biggest things you will notice that when you have your batteries and you open up a plane or whatever, you find that the connector is not matched to your batteries and the connectors that you have on your batteries. So sometimes you have to change them out. What do you normally do? You go to the hobby shop and they do it for you. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. Now, rule of thumb, rule of thumb. When you look at a connector, the positive is the flat piece going that way, going um, horizontal. Okay, and the negative is always going vertical. But on, let's say, this connector, basically your bottom piece, your bottom connector is your positive, your top connection is the negative. Always want to get that right. If you get it wrong, uh, you're going to be in a world of pain. It's going to be trouble. You're going to blow your battery at least. You may even blow your ESC. Okay, so let's get rocking here. Let's do this. All right, what is the first thing we do? Let me keep. Okay, first thing we do is we want to cut the old connector off of the battery. Now, here is the rule of thumb. Never cut across the positive and the negative at the same time because you're going to arc it. You're going to create a connection between the positive and the negative and you're in a world of pain. Okay, now if you really want to be safe and not have that problem, what you do is you piece, take a piece of electrical tape, 
right? Take a piece of electrical tape, right? And it becomes an insulator. It becomes a barrier between the positive and the negative, so that way you don't have an arc. There's no way you can arc the two. See? You just, you isolate it. Now watch. I take this, take a scissor. Okay, so what I do is I come in and I go ahead and I, I clip a positive, get rid of that, there we are, alright, there's the positive, okay, so then I can come in and let's do the positive first, we got the positive off of there, right, so I take my electrical connector, I mean I take my electrical shear, my clamp, open that up, and I go ahead and strip I strip off the insulation from it, right? Twist it around like so. And you want to clean, see that little jaggy there? You want to clean that off. So what I do is I just do that, clean it off like that, twist it with your thumb, twist, twist them around like so. All those little, you want to twist it, all right? Now, remember the flux? This is where the flux comes in. Okay. This is where the flux comes in. This is the magic of the flux. Flux helps the solder stick to the metal. Okay, so what I do is I take my brush and dab it in the flux and I put a little bit, just a little bit, on the metal. On the metal wire. You put a little bit on there. Boom, 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 like that. Alright? Now, so what I got going down here is here is my connector. Alright, here's my new, here's my new bullet connector that I'm adding the new, you know, I'm adding to the battery. So I go ahead and take my flux and I take the brush and I put a little bit into the positive connection, the positive tab. All right, now here's where the hands-free comes in. So what I do is I take the connector and I place it into the hands-free. See, I open up the clamp of the hands free, and I stick it into there like that. And of course, and have it going in any, any basic direction that you want it to go in. So let me go ahead and... Okay, so what I do is I take my solder. Here is my solder, right? Here's my soldering iron. And what I do is I start with a little bit of solder right on the actual on the actual connector itself being very careful mindful of the fumes I'm out here in the open I'm out here outside see see what's happening I'm getting a little bit of the solder right in there all right then I come in I put my solder on back right in there and watch what I do I use this hands-free arm and I go ahead and I take I take the wire that I want to apply to this new connector and I just leave it there like that and then I come in with a little bit of solder and of course I just attach some solder right to that wire like that see see get a little bead going just like that. Now, what's important, what's crucial, and I almost forgot this, is you want to add what's crucial is you want to add your shrink wrap. This is your shrink wrap. You see that? I got my shrink wrap. So what I do is I take the shrink wrap and I pull it down past the end of the wire, right? Put that shrink wrap goes on first before you connect it, obviously. All right. So now I take I take the wire. All right. Here's the positive. All right. There's the positive up there. All right. And some of them it'll actually have a little positive symbol, and you'll see it. Take my soldering iron, heat it up a little bit. You got solder there. Get it nice and they're nice and liquidy, and I just simply 
There we go. See? I push the connector right into the bit. I push the wire right into the uh, connector, you know, to the port. And then what I do is I come in and I take my insulator, I take my shrink wrap, and I just slide it up. See what I just did? I just slide it up, and then I take my, I take, you know, the heat of a, uh, of a flame, and I melt it. You just melt the shrink wrap. See? There you go. Now I do the same with the negative. I remove the negative from the old connector. This is just easy stuff, folks. This is easier than you think. This is very easy. It's scary. It's so easy, it's scary. Take that off. See what I'm doing? I take a little bit of the uh, insulation off there so I have a nice... See? There we go. And then I take a little bit of the flux. Remember I showed you the flux? Huh? There we go. Brush some of the flux on that sucker. Let's clean that wire up. That wire's a little, little jaggy. I don't like that. Okay, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. What do I do? I take a little bit of solder. Take a little bit of electrical solder. And I pop some of the solder right on the wire. See, the flux helps the solder stick to the wire. Easy, easy stuff. See? See what just happened? Easy. Easy stuff. Now, I take that connector. See what's going on here, folks? Do you see what's happening? Can you, can you see this? Can you understand what I am doing at the moment? Very crucial that you see what's going on here. Don't want anything to be outside of your realm of vision or your realm of understanding. Take the flux again and I dab a little flux, dab a little flux right into there. Now, it's crucial. Never get flux on the inside of the connector. Never get flux in there. If you get flux in there, you're going to have trouble because the flux is actually going to screw up your electrical connection. Flux is weird. It, it helps the metal connect to, it helps the solder connect to the metal, but in many ways it can really mess up your connection. So I come in with the solder again, just like I did before, right? Come in with the solder, and I just dab a little solder in there. Hey, a little dab will do ya, huh? <laughs> so put that in there. Okay, so go ahead and, you know, you get, you get your soldering iron, you get that bit, you get that bit nice and fluid. Get your uh, get your solder right there, nice and fluid, by putting your iron right on it, and then take your wire and just pop it right in there, and let the let the solder congeal around the metal of the wire. It's gonna it's gonna become one. You're gonna see you won't be able to see the end of the wire anymore because it becomes immersed inside of the inside of the solder. You see that? You see what just happened? Okay. Then I move my insulation, my shrink wrap, right up over the solder. Right up over the solder. Alright, make sure it's flush against the end of it. Then I take my... Take this. And I go ahead and gently melt the shrink wrap around the solder around the uh, around the uh, wire there you go and that's how you change the connector on a battery it's it's easy there you go that's it okay part two how do you put a bullet connector onto a wire it's unbelievably easy here here is our gold this is about a four or five millimeter bullet connector okay all right, now, that's the opening. That's the female side. So what we do is never do any flux on the inside, on the actual business end, because it's gonna ruin your electrical connection. We go ahead and we stick that into the, into the hands-free, just like so. All right, now, remember the flux, very important. Take, the, take a little bit of flux, put it in there, just a little bit, not too much, and we get things rocking. We get things rocking by taking some of the solder and we put some of the solder 
into right in there. That's what I do. Put a little bit in there. Get some in there. Remember, real hot, good soldering iron is what this is all about. This is all about the solder, baby, and the soldering iron. See what happens? Get that in there. Get it nice and get it congealed and all. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and put that there. Now, we take our 12 gauge wire, take our 12 gauge wire, take our cutter, take our cutter. All right. And we go ahead and we pull it right out there. Darn. There you go. Then with your fingers, you twist this sucker around. You twist it. You braid it. You twist it. Twist the wires. Twist the little bits. Twist them around. Then you take your take your brush. Brush a little bit of the flux on that sucker. All right. Twist it around again. Twist it around. Get it wrapped. Ah, huh? Yeah. Then what we do is what we do next. We get some of the solder and we put the solder right on the metal of the wire. Get the get the thing soldered up. Get it on there. Sometimes the solder doesn't want to stick. If it's not hot enough or you don't have enough flux on there, it doesn't want to stick. It doesn't want to stick. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. So you go ahead and you take your soldering iron and you, you get this liquid again. Get it liquid. If you can. <laughs> there we go. It's liquid again. And just take your wire and just shove it on in there. There we go. Get your wire and shove it on in there just like that. See that? There we go. Look at that, huh? Look at that. It's easy. Take a little bit of your solder. If it's not, you know, you don't like what you see, there's not enough in there, just go ahead. Kablamo. There we are. Nothing to it, ladies and gentlemen. You just stick it right in there. There we are. Yes, indeed. There we go. That's a pretty good connection. That's um, I like that. So then we take our little bit of insulation, right? Remember what I told you, the shrink wrap, the good shrink wrap, you take the shrink wrap and you just, you just manipulate it up over the bit, up over the connector, the gold connector, the bullet connector, just up to about two or three millimeters beforehand, there you go. Uh, it's melting a little bit before there, but you get the idea. And then we just take our flame and we melt it. See, watch, boom, boom, boom. There we go. It's that easy. Soldering is that easy. It's it's that easy. What do we got? Bullet connector, battery connector. That's how easy it is.